Uh, according to the Council of Europe platform for the protection of journalism and safety of journalists, um, more than half of the cases of abuses against uh, media professionals are committed by state actors. Daphne Caruana Galicia was assassinated on 16 of October 2017, and two years later, every aspect of the case is susceptible to political interference from the office of the Prime Minister. The Union must use all tools at its disposal to guarantee media freedom and the protection of journalists in its member states. We need investigative journalism to learn about structural rule uh, of law issues like uh, the high-level corruption cases that Daphne was reporting. If the Union does not give due consideration to the calls of the Maltese citizens, the lack of public confidence will be transferred um, to the EU itself. And those tools and procedures at the disposal of the Commission to ensure full compliance with the Union law must be deployed not only in Malta, but also in the Member States to respect the human rights in the case of refugees who die in the Mediterranean Sea, as well as the fundamental rights to political participation and the exercise of the right to the side of the peoples of Europe. Thanks. We have a blue card request, sir. Will you accept a blue card? Ah. Mr. Barene, are you... Hello. There is a blue card request. Would you accept? And the card comes from Mr. Zarzele Josh. 30 seconds, please. A member of your group has just said there's lots of Daphne Caruana's in Europe. I've got the re list of murders by ETA of journalists and media professionals, including four people killed at one time. You have never condemned any of that. And it's not simply you didn't condemn them, you actually justified them and you supported them. Now you have a chance to say today, before speaking about the freedom of expression, let us ask you if you condemn all the crimes of ETA, including those that were, of course, carried out against members of the journal, journalistic profession. Thank you. Mr. Zarzalejos, the death of any citizen, not just of the European Union, but of the world, particularly members of the media, is something which is completely unjustifiable and will always be pitied by myself and I assume all my colleagues in this house. Let me say to you that your comment is completely irrelevant. You were part of strategies which shut down the media and acted directly against the freedom of expression and you, for, from the Spanish government. And I cannot for both the question and the answer under a blue card. We will move on with the debate now.